Hey, what's going on guys? Toshi Rossi here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial um, for 1.12.2. In this tutorial we are going to be going over how to create an end based dimension. So with all the end islands. Um, so let's get started. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous dimension tutorials, you will want to go into registry handler. And in pre-init registries you want to put dimension in it dot register dimensions um, and you want that to be after fluid in it if you have fluid in it and before biome in it then we're going to go into our init package and create a new class named dimension in it inside of this we're going to want to go ahead and create a new variable which is a public static final dimension type and we're just going to call this end underscore temp, which stands for end underscore template. And that is going to equal dimension type dot register. So the first is the name. So I'm going to put end temp. Next is the suffix. So this is going to be underscore and then the name of your dimension in all lowercase and no underscores. So mine is going to be end temp underscore end temp id so i'm going to put four um but soon we're going to have a config for this this should be a unique id so it cannot be the same as any other dimension id from any other mod or from your mod they cannot collide so you need to make sure it's a unique id which is why we're going to have a config soon um next is the dimension class so we're going to call this dimension end temp and put dot class next is a keep loaded variable this is whether the um, chunks stay loaded and keep ticking so that crops can grow while you're not in the dimension and stuff like that I'm just going to keep this as false because um, I believe it can be laggy maybe not I'm not sure I haven't tested it so next we need to go into our um, end template package and we're going to want to go ahead and create this class and this is going to be named dimension end temp you could also name it world provider end um, if you wanted because um, it is a world provider it's not actually a dimension so even though they're called dimensions, actually their actual name is a world provider. So this needs to extend world provider. Just like that. In here you just want to put the init method. We also want the get dimension type. We're going to want create chunk generator. Um, we're going to want can respawn here. And um, anything else is just optional, um, but I'm going to have generate light brightness table, um, which is a method I've just got from my GitHub. It's basically a bit of maths to um, generate the lights to brightness table, which allows for your brightness setting to be changed to short. So inside of the init method, you want to do this dot provider is equal to a new and we're going to call this biome provider end biome provider end temp end temp for end template inside of here we want to put this dot world dot get seed which is a long value for get dimension type you want to return dimension in it dimension in it dot end temp for create chunk generator you want to return a new end gen template but you can also call it um, for example I could call it chunk generator uh, end template chunk generator end is what I meant um, you could do that that's it, it doesn't really matter I think the naming scheme is more 
to be chunk generator instead of what I've done but it doesn't really matter um, inside of this you want to put this dot world and this dot world dot get seed just like that also get respawn here this is a method which decides whether the player can respawn here so if you do slash set slash spawn point whether it will actually set your spawn there um, so I'm going to go ahead and return false for this because in the end you cannot respawn so now we're going to go ahead and create these classes so first is the biome provider and we're going to call this biome provider end temp this is going to extend biome provider just like that and import biome provider and um, we're just going to go ahead and copy well i'm going to copy this class from my github because um, it's a reasonable reasonably big class so let's just import everything here my github is in the description just so you know um i'm going to go ahead and change these to constructor change to constructor and change to constructor and i'm going to create this so gen layer fix end temp i'm gonna have and yep that's that class done and gen template so this is just going to implement I chunk generator I chunk generator just like that and we will do the rest in a second just like that okay so you can get the code for this in my github which is in the description as it is quite a big class in fact a very big class um, as it is basically doing the math for generating all the chunks it's 402 lines um it's pretty big Just plop that in there do a control shift o to import everything so java.util.random java.list uh, yeah that one i think maybe this one that might have been the wrong one so we're just going to go ahead and change this to constructor and oh i Let's change this to blocks.stone. There we go. Biome.biome. Yep, we need to change that. We need to change this to. Oh, okay, it's not on there. So chunk generator. Yeah, that's not what we've named it. We've named it end gen template. There we go. And as you can see, we have a lot of. Uh, do have a lot of issues, of course. So I'm going to go and see what these are. Ah, uh, so let's fix this first. So biome in it dot, and we're just going to put test biome. So that's the main biome for the dimension. Let's go ahead and fix all these warnings by suppressing them. There we go. That's all of that done. Um, here is the. This is the block you can use to change endstone. So I'm just going to have that as blocks of stone. In fact, in fact, no, I'm not. That's really boring. Let's have it as uh, redstone ore. Yeah, yeah, redstone ore. Okay. Obviously, you can change the air. I wouldn't advise that, but I mean you can. It is a thing you can do. Next, app features enabled. So. Okay, yeah, that's that's a thing. Don't get spawn point. We can do that. Oh, by the way, if you want to add um, custom entities to this, or just add an entity to the spawn list, you can do that here. So you just put spawnable, um, and there's basically these lists. You can add a new spawn list entry. So that is then the entity. So say I wanted entity bat dot class. Um, I'm just going to say I want roughly 20, um, which is actually really low. Let me put that to 40. Uh, I want the max, uh, the, the minimum in a group to be um, 38. I want the max to be 59. 
We're just putting random values. I know that's a lot of bats. Okay, we can't have entity bat. What can we have? Let's go entity um, evoker. There you go. And yeah, that's just how you do that. Um, so this is just true or false. You can mess around with what this does. I'm going to put true. Not entirely sure what it does, um, but you can mess around with that. That's that's down to you. Uh, next, we want the gen layer fix and temp. So let's go ahead and create that class. Gen layer fix and temp. This is going to, I believe, extend gen layer. No, this does not extend anything. So you can just copy this little method from um, my GitHub in the description. Just import all of these. And gen layer biomes and temp. Just like that. So then obviously we need to go ahead and create this class. Gen layer biomes. Biomes and temp. This is just going to extend gen layer. Um, in fact, you can copy this from the description, from, from my GitHub as well. So this here, this, this biome array, this is the allowed biome. So the biomes you want to be able to be in this, um, in this thing. So I'm going to put biomes dot, and I think there is an end one. Biome dot sky. Let's do some biomes dot sky. Let's do biome init dot our biome, um, and let's have biomes dot birch forest. Okay, I, d I don't know what these are going to look like. It's going to be a bit weird. I I'm fully aware that it will probably be a bit weird. Um, so yeah, let's just give that a save. Give that a save. Make sure you import everything. And that is it. Now I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to run the game. And I will see you guys in the game. Alright so guys, as you can see, we just got into the game. And I'm going to go ahead and use the teleport command, which we created a few episodes ago. To get to, what was it, four? One thing I forgot to mention, guys, is you need to register it here in this method. So you need to create a public static void register dimensions. In here, you need to put dimension manager dot register dimension. And for the ID, you want to put the same ID that is up here. So I'm going to put four. And you, you don't want to have your ID as four. This is just for, you know, showing you um, that it will work. As I have said many times, we will do config. So now let's stop the game. Let's close it. Let's close this. Let's close that. Close that. Close that. And now I'm going to run the game again. And I'll see you guys back in the game. Right, so guys, we're back in the game. And we are going to now TP dim. Four. And you see, it teleports. And here we are. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed it, please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.